Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Rage, and we are back today to wrap up the final note here of Dark Dimension 7, continuing where we left off using my four piece here, as you can see. Uh, we were facing up this double combination of the Quicksilver with Morgan Le Fay. Thankfully, with APOC, we were able to finish one of the Morgan Le Fays. Now, uh, it's really just getting through um, this wave as there's a lot more, there's more dangerous enemies remaining in this last final note, but well worth it. Because uh, after this, um, the unlock of Mephisto is a massive, massive ad addition to the roster. So, I mean, uh, it's funny enough is that, uh, you know, this is probably one of the longer times that my Kestra has survived. Just because in this beginning um, wave, they've already used some attacks from the previous attempt. So, that's kind of nice. Um, we were able to ability block Morgan Le because it's very important to control her in this, in this wave. She's going to be super tanky, as you'll see. And uh, even with her abilities, like her basic, she just completely wiped out Dormammu. Uh, that's why she has to be a very important character to focus in on in this initial wave. Otherwise, um, you know, you're going to be in for a tough time. I opted not to use um, the Apocalypse Ultimate because after a couple of play temps, we were able to conserve our attack actually for the next wave here. So that's kind of what I opted to do. Um, you can see she's already basically finished off my, my Kestro, but thankfully they have the revive. And now we are able to kind of do our thing and, and focus on the damage. Now, thankfully, um, this these last final nodes anyways, it's mainly Apocalypse and Super Scroll doing the work, right? So you're going to have to lean on them quite heavily, but that's okay. Um, it's kind of how it was designed. And, and, and when you do, do, do this again with Mephisto, it becomes a lot easier. But now we are able to time the massive uh, Scroll Ultimate with this new wave. And then we are able to go across with some damage here. Now, uh, important targets that you want to be focused on, right? There's a there's night crawlers that are very very pesky in dark dimension. There's the sunspot uh, with spider weaver combination. So uh, a couple big enemies. I recommend personally. I went for spider weaver first, just that way if she doesn't get her charges off, um, we're able to have successful attacks. And as well, um, that way we're making sure that each and every one of our attacks do count and matter as well. Now, having said that, after you're using the Apocalypse Ultimate, you probably won't get too far from this because this is going to be where the enemies will have a good opportunity to utilize the majority of their abilities. Um, I opted to see if I can at least turn me to rewind, um, do a little bit of, you know, uh, uh, AoE damage. But you can see shortly afterwards, you likely get hit by that Quicksilver Ultimate. And then you won't be able to do much, but... This is what I love about Scroll is that you can use his special and then he'll get a turn pretty quickly afterwards. So he can regenerate his energy quite well with his special alone. Um, and then at this point, you're basically just soaking in damage and, and just waiting for, for the enemies to finish you off. But in the meantime, you can at least do more work. And like I said, Scroll is great because he's got a lot of natural protection, a lot of passive abilities that just kick in uh, right when he's going down. So he's just so tanky. And right, just like that, look. We were able to get a special back already, and then as well, uh, his ultimate's ready to go almost too. So that sets us up for the next wave, uh, which is kind of where I wanted to demonstrate this to before I cut it off into the next attack. But yeah, uh, we're inching closer and closer. As you can see, four attacks here so far. So this is the last and final attack, number five here. And that's actually, this is going to be the finishing strike uh, to unlock uh, Mephisto. So overall, not too bad. I, you know, like... The Dark Dimension 7 has been pretty reasonable in terms of attempts, but it's just mainly making sure you have the right teams and synergies. Now, so, so as I alluded to earlier, uh, we're going to start things with a bang with the ultimate because it just sets us up for success, right? There's 12 out of 29 enemies remaining. Um, this is a reasonable mark that you can finish things off. I believe uh, this is the last attempt, uh, if my knowledge serves me correctly. Now, having said that, guys, like I said, I feel like Kestrel was just a good investment in terms of resources, but... Uh, as you can see from my previous attacks and even in this one, she just doesn't really do much in the in the grand scheme. Even with the revive from Dormammu, she's not doing much. Uh, but it is what it is. I think that's just the way that this was designed. Um, I think actually Ultimus is a better choice than, than Kestrel for sure. Now, I'm not really sure what happened um, in this uh, uh, video play. Just because when I was going through it, it seemed like I was skipping all the animations. As you can see, every time I tap on my attacks now, it just instantly applies. So something must have kicked in with the game bug, but you can see here, I'm going to start using my abilities and it just attacks the enemies right away. So yeah, feel free to at least use this as an attack order. But yeah, it's kind of funny. I was like, okay, it's kind of cool that we got on video and now we can utilize and, and speed up the video, which is kind of funny. But yeah, actually, more importantly, it'd be funny if this ever became an actual thing in the game where you can just skip the animation and it just instantly applies damage. But yeah, regardless, this, so this is the last wave here. You can see we're up against Kang, Mephisto, 
I used the APOC ultimate and then right off the bat guys, if you can save this ultimate for Mephisto, that's ideal. Cause that way then you can see here now we're targeting Mephisto. He should be really a, a priority. And then um, now we're just trying to get through the enemies um, before and then there's the natural chance that we just can't really do much of. So yeah, guys, uh, very quick gameplay here because it just skipped all the animations. And just like that, Kang is the very end. And even I tried to slow it down to see if maybe taking away the auto would slow it down. But yeah, that's uh, funny enough. That's how, actually how we end up things here with the Mephisto unlock. So I'll get all the Crimson gear, all that, all this jazz, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Great addition to your roster. And obviously with the big prize being Mephisto. So definitely um, always one of the better things once you wrap up these Dark Dimensions is the actual reward component. And yeah, i uh, been having so much fun with Mephisto in my account. Obviously the synergy uh, of, of, with all the other Mythic characters makes it unbelievable. So you'll definitely have a much faster time when you go through Dark Dimension 7 for the second time. But yeah, boom, just like that. You know, him on his iconic throne. Really, really cool stuff. Now... Uh, as I've done in all my past videos, when I do wrap up the Dark Dimension, guys, I want to show you where the ranking is because I was pretty happy with this. I could, it could have been better, but honestly, with the Annihilators coming out, it um, my my pace on this slowed up because I focused on Annihilators and using the Crimson Gear. So you can see, boom, top 4,000-ish in the game, finishing Dark Dimension 7 once, and as well, my, my total TCCP being 57 million um to showcase the tree guys and guess i am free to play just for those of you referencing this and using this as a video for in, in the future um so completely feasible it's all about just the management of resources guys i had an absolute blast going through this definitely one of the harder or hardest dark dimensions i've ever experienced um really being that big bottleneck with crimson gear as well so hopefully this is helpful thank you for your time as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one